Hi, I'm Isaac from Isaac Bernstein's and in this video we're going to be checking out these two Makita brushless impact drivers. They are the two that I use in the workshop and on site, in the building site. And we're going to give you some information on them and my opinions and do some little testing. Probably not that scientific but I'm interested to see how much of a difference they have when doing some decent sized screws. So first up we've got the Makita DTD155 brushless subcompact impact driver. So this is the smallest, it's real small, smallest range, smallest in the 18 volt range from Makita and it's super light, still is powered by the 18 volt batteries and it's got a few settings, I think it's got three speed settings and an automatic setting which I don't use. And then we have the bigger one. This was the flagship model, I'm not sure if it's still the flagship model, the DTD171. So this is the most powerful one at the time. It's beefier, a little bit heavier, and drives screws in a decent amount faster. So today we're going to find out actually how much faster um, by using these 90mm Perlin batten screws and then a couple of 75mm wood screws, 8 gauge. First, I'm going to go get air protection because these are very loud tools. So as you can see from the videos, the DTD171 was a lot faster at driving and taking out the screws. Uh, these stats I've got here for tests 1 to 3 are the batten screws and 5 and 6 are the wood screws, um, the little timber screws. So it was about 60% faster, so I knew it was quicker, but I did not think it was that much quicker uh, with the bigger screws, and that's a big difference. So. That's 116 minutes for a thousand screws for the 155 and 70 minutes for the 171. So that's like 45 minutes difference for a thousand screws. So that's actually a significant difference that I would definitely consider more from now on. Um, obviously these tests are not scientific and that is potentially different wood, but I tried using the, a nice straight piece of pine that didn't have that much grain so the difference is not crazy although you can see between test 1 and 2 and then 3 um, a decent increase in both of the drivers so um, I think when you got close to the center of that piece of wood it was a little bit harder or something like that but when it averages out it's definitely um, over the three tests it's pretty consistently quicker uh, about the same amount each time so it's pretty crazy um, difference there I de definitely recommend the 171 or a more powerful brushless tool if you are on a construction site putting in purlin screws and other big landscaping screws and that type of thing but yeah pretty interesting if you've got any other tool comparison reviews let me know down below otherwise I will see you next time I've got a apprentice friend who has some Milwaukee gear so I might do some comparisons with those two so keep an eye out for that thanks guys i will see you next time